Everyone can be rich? Everyone can be rich. Everyone. Here's my thought exercise for Now you. Now it seems like we're in an infomercial. <laughs> Everyone can be rich. I'm not selling Look at any- my home. This is my Rolls Royce. Like, yeah, no, so, so that's a good point. Right. So everything that I've ever created on this topic of how to make money, I will never charge a dollar for. Mm. Because that would ruin it. That would show that I'm just another huckster who's trying right. to get rich off of you. There are no get rich quick schemes. That's just somebody else trying to get rich off of you, right? right? So, it's, so to me, it's more of a philosophical contribution where for it to have meaning and to be legit, I can't charge you anything for it. But yes, everybody can be rich. And let me give you the thought exercise, okay? Imagine if tomorrow we could wave a wand and everybody was trained as a scientist or an engineer. Everybody. Even if you weren't very good, you had enough understanding of computers, you could write some code, you could build some hardware. And don't tell me people can't do it. Because they can. That's just the tyranny of soft expectations. That's just you looking down on somebody else. They can do it. They just have to be educated. Now, if they're educated all as hardware, software, engineers, scientists, biologists, technicians, hard sciences, not the social sciences, we would all be done within five years. Robots would be doing everything from cleaning toilets to cooking food to flying airplanes to driving Ubers. And what would we be doing? We would be doing all creative jobs to entertain each other and researching science and technology. We would have wonderful lives. So it is really just a question of education, nothing else. Is this a scale issue, though? I mean, you, you're, you're talking about it as if this would work with 300 million people. It'll work with 10 billion people. It'll work really? with a spacefaring race with 100 trillion people. Just We have the resources. We have the ability. The universe is infinite resources. You build a, you know, have you heard of a Dyson sphere? Mm-hmm. You know, you pull the Dyson sphere on a star and you gather all its energy. Like that, there's so much energy out there. One asteroid's got all the minerals that we need. One sun, one solar system has got all the power we will need for a long, long time. Uh, you know, we can extract it out of nuclear fusion. You know, we're, we're not that far from those kinds of technologies working. Uh, it's just a question of gut and, uh, you know, and interest. Like we should be building nuclear fusion test plants on the moon. The moon should be littered with them. <laughs> it's no downside. Right. Yeah. So this guy's basically saying if we're all engineers and scientists, then robots would do everything and we would all be rich. We would all be happy, you know, like we could all get, I don't know, how house and acre and have everything we need and we'd work on the creative things well first off he's really undermining some of the social sciences i mean soft sciences like sociology psychology and stuff that are very important for a society to function properly but that aside he says we can all be rich right and that's like his real big secret like he really touts this is my secret i'm gonna give it away for free we can all be rich but here's my question if everybody has the same thing nobody's rich you understand? Like, think about Napoleon or, you know, other kings, uh, the pharaohs in Egypt. These were incredibly wealthy people in history, right? But they didn't have Wi-Fi. They didn't have AC. They didn't have some of the simplest things that make our life so much easier. Yet they were considered themselves rich. They were happy. They were rich. Well, I don't know how, but they were rich. Right. Well, why did they consider themselves rich? Because it was uh, they, they compared it to what everybody else had. Right. So today, are we rich? Well, if you live in America, technically you're rich already because a lot of the world does not have access to a refrigerator or running water within your home. So you're already doing better than the most people. But do you feel rich? No, because you compare yourself to your neighbor. So this whole theory that we'd be just sitting around content and being rich is, is a fugazi. It's not based in reality. This is some sort of utopian, communist utopia, socialist utopia thing that he has. I think that if I didn't have the competition, if I didn't have the drive to do better and want to be competitive, I would be drunk, dude. I would be laying on the couch drinking all day long. You know, that's the reality. I'm not saying everybody would be doing that, but I think that a large percentage of the population would not amount to anything, would give no contribution to society whatsoever unless there was a really big push. You know, people get uncomfortable, like, well, capitalism is uncomfortable sometimes. Well, sometimes you got to be uncomfortable to push yourself. All these people that always talk about these utopias and shit, you know, go live in Europe. Go live. I don't know if this guy's from India or somewhere, but I'm telling you, you come here, you become rich because of a capitalist society, because of a very pro-business society that allows you to make money. Then you turn around and spot off all this weird socialist propaganda anyway i could go on forever i'm not thank you guys for tuning in as always bye red and so green